Welcome to One on One with the Church. I'm Diane Vanderputten, and today I'm with two pastors, Pastor Jason and Yvonne Parks from Vineyard, Ottawa. Welcome to One on One. Hi, thanks for having us. Thank okay. you so much. So tell me a little bit about who Vineyard Ottawa is as a church. What's your DNA? What's the heartbeat of this congregation? And then how are you impacting the community all around you? Mm. We're, uh, we're part of the Association of Vineyard Churches Canada, which is a network, uh, church planting network, okay. uh, over 40 churches in Canada, 1,500 worldwide. Uh, but we're a relatively new community. We've been, I think January 8th will be our two year anniversary um, in our corporate services. So we're multi-generational, multicultural, uh, right, right from day one. And uh, our value really is around experiencing the presence of Jesus corporally and personally, walking that out uh, in the kingdom. Right, and so we, we do have um, some outreach happening in the community, but our heart really is to have people who come and be a part of our family of friends really spend time in the presence of Jesus, be empowered by the Holy Spirit, and have those things of mercy and justice and compassion and evangelism be part of actually who each person is. And so we take that out into the community, into our workplaces, into our schools, and, uh, and operate as a people of mercy, not just doing acts of mercy. Mm. So you might come by the church and think, there's not a lot happening here. And you're right, it's happening out there. I really believe that every body of Christ has a DNA. They have gifts and passions and ability. And God has brought people here to this congregation for a purpose. Yes, to be filled up. Yes, to be equipped. Yes, to be sent out into wherever their sphere of influence is. But he's also called us as a body to serve this community because there is a mission field right here in this part of Ottawa. So do you have an example of what that might look like? Yeah, we do. We have um, just around the corner, um, we've got a low income um, housing complex, a tower, Regina Towers. And so there's Alpha going on there. There's an initiative for that. Uh, we do a weekly um, ladies outreach for seniors. Uh, there's about 30, 30, 35 ladies together every week for a Bible study. And they're just not really connected to the Sunday morning expression. Mm -hmm. They're just mm -hmm. people who wouldn't normally come to a church, but they're being drawn in by the outreach. Mm -hmm. um, Tremendous. So we are, we are doing some things that are kind of local to our little neighborhood here. That's excellent. I love hearing those stories, right? Because that's impact. So if if um, that is the outreach focus and that's the heartbeat of this congregation, what do you feel about church unity right across this region? Have you experienced it? Uh, do you involve yourself as a church in the unity movement here in the city? Yeah, absolutely. We're um, actually members of our team because we're, we're, of course, a, a co-laboring team. We have four, four lead pastors who, who do the work here. And one of them is actually Richard Long from Love Ottawa uh, and his wife Terry. They, they co-labor with us together as an equal, as an equal team. And, uh, but what we do, we value uh, in City Unity is praying for the, for, for the city church. And so what we do from day one of our community's emergence is we've started to, to pray. Uh, every Sunday morning that we're together for a good five to seven minutes focusing on another church in our city or our vineyard family across Canada. Right, That's just really beautiful. calling out to God because we really want to be for the city. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the words that came when we first planted our church to be for the city and what does that look like? And so it means really gathering around and, and, and crying out to God for not just our community and not just this area of the city, but the whole city of Ottawa and, and the churches too. That's absolutely beautiful. Well, Jason, Yvonne, thank you so much for joining me for One on One with the Church. This has been an honor and a pleasure. Thanks, thank it's been you. our pleasure too.